Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Rashid and I'm from ASPT. In today's video, we will be focusing on PT Core. Now, those of you who do not know what PT Core is, PT Core is the two hours exam approved by IRCC to migrate to Canada. So, if you want to migrate to Canada, whether you are living outside of Canada or in Canada at the moment, this is the test for you. This test is approved by IRCC in addition to ILTS general training and cell PIP test. Without any further ado, I will start with my PT core experience that I had this week. I will try and focus on the differences and similarities of PT academic and PT core that I found in the exam, techniques that I followed, and the score. I will also share the score that I achieved in this test. If you want to migrate to Canada, you need to convert your PT core score to the CLB conversion chart. Now, I am not a migration consultant for Canada, so I wouldn't be able to give you any details, uh, but this is the uh, chart that you will use to convert your PT core score to the CLB scoring that will be added to your Canadian migration application. This is my score that I achieved this week by taking the PT core. As you can see that my overall score is 87 and my listening and writing were 90 in each band, whereas my reading and speaking were 85 and 80. In this video, I will also share what techniques I followed and whether I've used any templates or not for my PT core exam. The first three question types of PT core are PT read aloud, repeat sentence and describe image. In all these, all these three questions are similar to PT academic. However, my experience at the exam was that the passages and the questions are much easier in PT core compared to PT academic. The passages that we got, I got in the exam were more likely uh, involved to our day-to-day -day life and work. Um, compared to the academic versions that we get at PT academic test. For repeat sentence, I found most of the questions were quite short. That is the recordings were quite short, about three to four seconds. Only one recording out of 11 questions I got were about five seconds. The rest of them were very short and very easy. For describe image, I followed the same template as PT academic and I scored well. The first difference between PT academic and PT core question types is respond to a situation. The fourth question type of a speaking section. In PT academic speaking section, the fourth question type is written lecture. Whereas in PT core, it is respond to a situation. What happens to respond to a situation? That you find a situation that is involved to your day-to-day -day life or professional life and you need to respond to certain situations. First, you will hear the recording. You will also be able to read the situation. Once the recording is finished, you'll get some time to prepare yourself. And then you have to respond within 40 seconds. To uh, solve this issue, what I did, I mixed up two techniques here. I got all together four questions. In my opinion, this is going to create a issue if you do not actually prepare yourself beforehand. Previously, back um, it, it, now, if you can recall PT Academic before 2021, there used to be three or four retail lectures. After 2021, it became one or two retail lectures. Respond to a situation is something like that. At the moment, there are three to four respond to a situation question types. In one of the questions, I exactly repeated what is in the respond to a situation question, but instead of you in the question, I used I. So this is one technique. Another for uh, three other questions, I actually used a template. So before my exam, I prepared with the template and I actually used the template. And seems like the template is working. Now the next question type in PT core is answer short question. And just like the PT academic answer short question, I ignored this question type. Next question type is the first question type of our PT writing section, which is summarized written text. 
just like PT Academic, we also have summarized written text in PT Core, but that's about it. There is no other similarities there. Everything else is different. To begin with, in PT Academic summarized written text, you have to write your answer between 5 to 75 words, whereas in PT Core, you have to write between 25 to 50 words. In PT Academic, you have to write between uh, within one sentence but in pt core you can write more than one sentences and one more thing in terms of marking criteria in pt academic if you you know ignore the format or if you miss out the format for some reason you wrote more than 75 words or less than five words or wrote more than one sentence you were supposed to get direct zero in pt core this is not the case even if you cross your word limit by some small margin, you will store, get, still get some score. For writing between 25 to 50 words, you get two marks in format. And then you will lose mark if you go up or go down. However, it will not turn to zero straight away. Next question type is another question type that is different than PT Academic. In PT Academic, task two, if you want to call it, or the question type 2 of writing section is write essay, whereas in PT core it is about write an email. Now, in write email section, you'll be given some sort of question where you have to respond to a situation of uh, your day-to-day -day life or your, um, you know, uh, workplace situation where you have to write an email with three themes. Now, for this question type, I followed an, a formal email pattern and I followed a template and I scored, as you can see, a perfect 90 in writing. In write email, you have to write between 100 to 120 words and you will get nine minutes to answer this question. In your PT test, you get minimum two emails to maximum three emails. Solution for this question is very simple. Follow the template and crack it just like you crack your right as a question type in PT Academic. The next part of PT Core is PT Reading. It is exactly the same as PT Academic. Just like PT Academic, in PT Reading, you will have five types of questions. All together, you will get around 30 minutes. For the first question type, you will get fill in the blanks reading and writing where most of the passages that I found were like either email to colleague or email to a doctor or a situation which is involved in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, you will get just like PT Academic five to six questions from uh, fill in the blanks reading and writing. And the next question type is multiple choice question, multiple answer. And just like PT Academic, I ignored it. Then the next question type is uh, my um, uh, reorder paragraph. Questions were much easier, much simpler. Uh, and uh, the next question type is uh, fill in the blanks reading. Just like PT Academic, there were four questions and each question had between four to five blanks. Again, the passages were much simple. Words were much simple, not that much of an academic words that were used in the exam. Last question type was filling a uh, multiple choice question single answer and just like PT Academic, I ignored it. Next part of PT Core is listening section. And just like my PT Academic test, I got summarized spoken text as the first question of PT Core. And again, uh, just like summarized written text, the similarities between PT Academic and PT Core ends there. In order to answer the summarized spoken text in PT Academic, we get normally 50 to 70 words to write our answers between. However, for PT Core, uh, we only will get 20 to 30 words to write. Now, this is a different type of challenge because when it is 50 to 70, using templates makes sense and using templates is worth it. Uh, but between 20 to 30 words, I found it very difficult to fit it within any template, so I followed a different type of a strategy, uh, which I'm happy to share in my future videos and in my classes. But the recordings that I found, again, this is the major difference between PT Academic and PT Core, that the recordings, the passages, 
the part types of um, par paragraphs that are used or words that are used are not really that much academic rather more involved with our day-to-day -day life with our work life and the last segment of our PT core is like PT academic our rest of the listening questions just like PT academic it will start with multiple choice question multiple answers in listening I tried answering it while while listening to the recording because I did not want to wanted to you know uh, spend my time in it after the recording is finished the next one is fill in the blanks and I answered it properly because we know the importance of fill in the blanks listening in our writing as well as in our listening section next question type is multiple choice question choose single answer and the next question type is select missing words now we need to understand here is we are supposed in PT academic we get highlight correct summary at this stage but in PT core this question is not there so there is no highlight correct summary that is the question that is the reason in PT core you have 19 question types whereas in PT academic you have 20 question types the next question is highlight incorrect words which is just like PT academic very important because it has a good amount of contribution towards your reading section and at the end I found write from dictations in my PT core exam I found four write from dictations all of them were between 8 to 11 words so those were pretty decent size as well as not too large of a size I paid full attention to them just like I would have done in PT academic and have done so far in PT academic now with your PT academic and PT core I mentioned I'm repeating that again I know it's becoming redundant in this video the major difference is the types of questions passages you get they're not academic so the difficult words are used in less frequency rather more of the, um, the words that were used more or more of them were like you know involved to our day-to-day -day life work life or personal communication so if you are going to prepare for PT core you prepare most of the time you prepare just like you prepare for PT academic or you prepare actually for PT academic you will find yourself ready for PT core simply speaking it's a much simpler test much easier test and if your ambition is to migrate to Canada or if you're already in Canada if your ambition is to apply for PR and achieve a higher CLB score this is the test for you thank you for watching if you like the video like subscribe and share um, and stay tuned for the next one.